So here we have empty spaces. And I would like to fill out uh, the, all the empty spaces here. And uh, you, can, uh, you can do this uh, very easily uh, to fill out all the space here. Maybe you have a, a square and then you want landscape or from landscape to square. I'm going to show you how to do this in this short tutorial. Make sure you subscribe for more and I would offer the dualist jump right to this video. So what you have to do first is to select uh, our main subject here. So this is our main subject, the horse and this person. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just selecting uh, this uh, this subject. All right. You can also go to image right over here. So go to image here. Not to image, sorry, to select and click on a subject. And it's uh, really fast. It's going to select our subject here. So now we have a selection is actually not perfect, but we can use quick selection tool and just uh, correct this. And if you hold alt, this is going to add or remove. Also, if you hold Alt and you drag with the left uh, on your mouse, it's going to increase the size. Now we have to go to to where is it? To select, we selected, but now we would like to save the selection, and you have to go to select, and then here save selection. And here I'm going to write a uh, subject because this is the subject we want. And I'm actually, I'm going to explain why we're, we're doing this. We're doing this because we only want to stretch this background and keep the, the main uh, subject here. We, we don't want to stretch the subject. We only want to stretch the background. So now I'm just going to click on... We save this selection and now we can go in content aware scale and uh, also make sure you go control plus D to deselect. Now let's go in content aware scale, hold alt and remember to select our subject here. Uh, because now this is going to stretch our background and as you can see now we have our background here and if it doesn't look good actually remember to select here your subject because this is going to ensure and also because I have these lines here this is actually causing problems but if I didn't have, which I will do right now really fast, control plus J, remove crop, and I'm sorry for this. I just want to show you the best results. So now I'll go to edit content, select our subject, and hold alt. And now, as you can see, it works just fine looks good but another way it's actually a faster is if you use uh, this rectangle if you want to add another one hold shift and now you can add another one and then you go to content aware fill edit and content aware fill and here of course we have to hold alt and uh, we don't want to affect this subject, so just remove this portion. All right. And make sure like the lines here are not over the image. 
So again, this is causing some problems. So make sure here and shift and shift. <clears throat> now we go to content aware field and now it looks just great and if it's affecting the subject just make sure you click on minus or if it's plus just hold alt and you remove the subject here uh, that's what you have to do if somehow is affecting the subject at some time what this content aware uh, does is just looking around and is uh, taking pixels from where things that can uh, actually replicate at pixels parts of the image and um, you know just replicates that and yeah I think using this method it's faster using content aware fill instead of using uh, um, instead of using content uh, aware fill I think it's fast instead of using content aware scale I click on apply and OK and here we have our image to deselect click on control D and now we have a great image same quality really really awesome and uh, that's pretty much it now what I like to do is just to select all the layers here Control plus G to group or also also like to convert to a smart object and convert to a smart object. Now it looks great. It's not really perfect here, but you can or here, but I didn't change anything there. You can of course play there with the settings, you know. And if you, if you still have problems, you can use uh, the, the stamp, maybe this one. And just, uh, you know, just fix the mistake here. If you want everything to look perfect, which I guess you do want, you do want that, you know. You know, so I really hope you found this helpful. I hope this video is not too long and you learn something and now you are more familiar with Adobe Photoshop. Thank you for watching and take care.